Okay, so now I'm going to explain a little bit about how to lift a fingerprint. Our wardens uh, many times will use fingerprint evidence at a crime to try to um, see if a, a particular individual was at a location. And, you know, if someone was there and they committed a crime, uh, depending on what they touched, if it was in a, a house or a, uh, a vehicle or maybe on an antler or something like that, there's a good chance somebody left some fingerprints there. So they're going to try and lift a fingerprint that is peeled off with a piece of tape to be able to identify it against known fingerprints. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's pretty simple. Um, our wardens will use expensive fingerprint powder and a fingerprint brush, but I'm going to show you how to make your own powder. So what I did is I used a piece of charcoal, which is basically the same charcoal that you get from a charcoal briquette. You can either use it from your charcoal, or if you have a fish tank at home, many times you have the tiny little pieces of charcoal that go in the filter system. And they work really good, but you've got to pulverize it. You've got to get it really, really fine. So the best way to do that is to take the charcoal and double bag it. And in this case, I used two little Ziploc bags. And I put it inside there, and I used a hammer. And I pounded it down, and it breaks pretty easily. It's actually very lightweight. And then I used a rolling pin, and I ground it out to try to make it as fine as possible. And it is, the more fine you get it, the better it's going to work. So then you need some sort of a brush. And instead of a super expensive fingerprint brush, you can go to the dollar store and get a, uh, a makeup brush, which has, which has really, really fine ends to the brush. And the idea there is when you press down into the charcoal, it puts the tiny little fine powder on the end, and you can sprinkle it to actually show your fingerprint. So here's an easy way to do it. You want to use a, like a glass jar or a bottle or a bowl like I have here. And then I used olive oil, but you can use any kind of vegetable oil. I poured a little bit inside here, and I put my finger in there. And then you want to take a paper towel. You can see it's kind of dripping. Take your finger, uh, take your towel and wipe some of it off. And push it down on the glass and lift it off. It's kind of hard to see there right now. But if you take your fingerprint brush and lightly go over top, of the glass, you'll see it starting to show up right there. So take, stay away from the actual fingerprint, kind of get some of that excess charcoal off of there. Then what you're going to use is packing, packing tape or packaging tape. And um, it's a clear tape, kind of peel it off, set it on top, and smear it, like smooth it down on top of where your fingerprint was and then slowly lift it off, and your fingerprint's on there. And then I made up these little tiny index cards. You can see one that I've already filled out here. It's got the case number, the item number, date and time, the offense, and in this case, I put poaching down there, I'm the investigator, and I put county and township on there. And then you can just kind of put that piece of tape right on top of there, and it's not a perfect fingerprint, but there are some things that you can, you can identify on this fingerprint. The cool part is this. You could um, have some of your family members use something like this uh, cheapo uh, ink pad, and they could take either thumbs or index fingers, and they could all put a, a finger down on top of it, and then on a piece of paper, put their fingerprints on. So you could have different fingerprints, you know, right next to each other. And then what you could do is you could have one of them use the vegetable oil and put their, the same finger on the glass, but you don't know which one it was. And then when they're done, you use the equipment here and try to lift that fingerprint and then set it down to try to compare that fingerprint and see whose is whose. So it's just kind of a cool thing that you can do at home. It's pretty inexpensive. You don't have to go out and buy a lot of things. Some of these things you may already have at home. Um, somebody in your family might be willing to give up their makeup brush. Um, and if not, they're, they're pretty inexpensive to buy. So this is kind of a cool activity that you can do um, with fingerprints.